What's going on? This is Alex USA Days. So I've been asked if I'm just getting into QA, quality assurance career, and I want to start learning some programming language to essentially get to automation at some point, what should I start with? Uh, my advice is probably different from what you see on the internet. A lot of the advice that you can find out right now is either go with Java because it's very popular. You will find a lot of positions, even though it uh, could be a little bit outdated and it's very technical, can be very hard to learn as a first language. Plus, their environment set up for Java can be just terrible. Um, you will have to figure a lot of things, Google them, and might even give up because essentially you wouldn't be able to set it up on your own. Right? Uh, the second most recommended language is Python. Uh, Python is a lot... Uh, easier to learn than Java, but I mean I think the the it's it's quite narrow in terms of open position for uh, testing it for test automation. My advice, if you never did any programming, uh, I would try and start with JavaScript. JavaScript is a lot easier to learn. Uh, it is very friendly in terms of uh, you know complexity comparing to Java because JavaScript and Java are different languages, right? And JavaScript is readily available. Uh, you can even practice it in the web console. It's almost everywhere. It's now in the front end of the web. It's in the back end. You have uh, game dev with JavaScript. JavaScript is one of the most, if not the most popular language right now in the world. And JavaScript has a lot of testing framework incorporated. Uh, some of them a bit older. There's Mocha.js, there's Jess, there's Puppeteer, Jasmine, uh, Chai, uh, Nightwatch.js, Protractor. But you have also some of the newer ones, especially uh, working well with the front end like Cypress. And with Cypress, the same thing as with Selenium, you can actually record your steps and Cypress will build automation for you. I'm actually uh, thinking about creating like mini Cypress uh, tutorial for the channel so you can follow along and start like coding, uh, doing some Cypress automation. And another thing that is quite easy to learn but also is considered to be automation is Postman. And Postman uses, guess what? Uh, for testing, Postman uses JavaScript for scripting. So JavaScript is, is essentially everywhere, a lot easier to learn, a lot of frameworks that are... Uh, uh, for testing with JavaScript. Um, and, you know, there, there are some talks about uh, testing is going away or there's going to be a lot less automation. JavaScript is also providing um, good job security because there's so many different positions and fields from web, web development to game development that you can kind of grow into once you know JavaScript really well, not just testing and uh, test automation. Also, when you pick up tutorials on JavaScript, and there are plenty available on Udemy or on YouTube, normally JavaScript is learned in combination with HTML and CSS because it's used in the web a lot. And uh, when you learn HTML and CSS, you will learn how to find locators uh, and how to navigate the DOM, right? Essentially the document object for your web page. Um, that will make your life a lot easier if you don't know nothing about like XPath or how do I find certain elements for automation. And also uh, Selenium as well does support JavaScript. So if I would start a new like, okay, I got to learn automation or I, I need to, I want to go into test automation, but I don't know any programming experience, I would start with JavaScript. Um, it's sad if someone starts with Java um, and because of the complexity of the language, because there's uh, there's a lot of boilerplate code in Java, they're just gonna get you know uh, discouraged because you know it's too hard, right? Um, but essentially, what learning programming is uh, for testing, at least I'm not a developer. I'm, I'm speaking from a QA perspective, is a lot of repetition, a lot of repetition, and taking your time to understand what you're actually doing. Uh, I think that's the key to success. Anyway, so this is my advice, I guess, to myself if I if I would start a new uh, learning automation. This was Alex USA Days. Thanks and bye.